Hey guys, make sure you subscribe, make sure you uh, check out my other videos, watch all my other videos, try to binge watch so you can kind of get a feel of how I am and like my videos and watch this video again for that watch time and I'm probably going to stretch this to 10 minutes just so I can get them extra ads. <laughs> okay. Someone that's afraid to let go uh, You decide if you're ever gonna let me know Yeah, suicide if you ever try to let go uh, I'm sad and know, yeah I'm sad and know, yeah Who am I? Someone that's afraid to let go uh, You decide if you're ever gonna let me know Yeah. Okay, I wish I was joking I'm not ah! Woo, I'm a little bit on the edge But who gives a fuck, okay Let's go ahead and check out Island of Da Jiao. Someone told me to check it out, and I heard it's a very beautiful island. Let's go. And the storyline begins. The Hadith of Fatima bin Tuqais, radiallahu anha, she says, that the messenger sallallahu alayhi wasallam he sat on his member smiling then the messenger sallallahu alayhi wasallam said do you know why i have gathered you here today and the companions of the messenger sallallahu alayhi wasallam said the allah and his messenger know best then the messenger sallallahu alayhi wasallam said the i have gathered you here today to give you a warning but I have gathered you here today because a man, Tamim Dari, has come and embraced Islam and he has told me something with that which I have told you regarding the Antichrist. He told me that he has sailed in a ship with 30 men from two tribes. 30 men from two tribes. Dang. He says that the waves have been tossing them around and about for a month. He says that at the time of sunset, they landed on the island where they met a beast who was so hairy that they could not tell from its front to its back. We said, woe to you. What are you? And it said, the I am Al Jassasa. And then he said, Go to this monastery, go to that monastery. For there is a man who is very eager to know about you. He says, We quickly went to the monastery, and there we seen a huge man with his hands tied up to his neck, iron shackles between his ankles between his legs up to his ankles. We said, woe to you, who are you? Dang, that's crazy. That's that's a story that's insane, bro. I mean, y'all think the, like, that's crazy. And this scenery behind this video is beautiful. I wish I was there. And he said, never. Oh guys, if you wonder why I'm not really saying much, because usually I do talk a lot or cut a lot in my videos. I do that and the reason why is because like I just want to listen to this because I don't know nothing about it and I just want to educate myself on it. And you guys can tell me in the comments, you know, educate me on things I may not know because I'm open to criticism and explanation from other people. I'm not some fucking schmuck, this fucking bitch that doesn't like listening to people, okay? Just to let you know. Never mind who I am. Soon you will come to know who I am. Tell me who are you? They said that we are people from Arabia. We sailed in a ship where the waves have been tossing us around and about for a month. When we landed on your island, we met a beast who was so hairy that we could not tell from his front to his back. We said, woe to you. What are you? And he said, the I am Al Jassas. Then he said, that go to the monastery for there's a man who is very eager to know about you. He says, We quickly went to you, we quickly went to the monastery, and there we 
harmed you. Then the man in the iron chain said, Tell me about the date arms of Baysan. We said, What do you want to know about it? He said, that Does he have fruit on it? Does he bear fruit? We said, Yes. He goes, A time will come. They will not bear fruit. Tell me about the lake of Tabari. We said, what do you want to know about it? He said that does he have water in it? We said, yes, he has plenty of water. He goes, the time will come that he will dry out. Tell me, tell me about the spring of Zuhara. We said, what do you want to know? So it seems like the Quran has, on the Hadib, has really, really predicted a lot of things like, he said, things would dry out of the earth. It's probably true, because we're seeing it now, you know, the earth is running out of food. And here in this uh, Hadith, it's already been predicted. So that's kind of crazy, you know. He said, does he have water in it, and do the people use it to irrigate the land? He said, yes, he has plenty of water in it and the people use it to irrigate the lands. And then the man in the iron chain said, tell me about this unlettered prophet. And we said, that he has left Makkah and he has migrated to Medina. And then he said, do the Arabs fight against him? Do the Arabs fight against him? We said, yes. He goes, how does he deal with them? Then they said, that the messenger has overcome them and those who surround him have followed him. And then the man in the iron chain said, has this really happened? Has this really happened? It is better for them that they follow him. Now I will tell you who I am. I am the imposter. I am the antichrist. And soon I will emerge. Soon I will be more. My grandma talks about the antichrist. I will be released from this place and I will travel the world and I will enter city to city except Makkah and Why? Because there will be angels surrounding this place. Every entrance there will be angels with their swords out. That will prevent him. Prevent me from entering. And then. The messenger sallallahu said. Striking his pulpit. He said this is Medina. This is Medina. This is Medina. And the messenger sallallahu said. That did I not tell you something like this? The companions of the Messenger Sallallahu said, O Messenger of Allah, yes you did. Then the Messenger Sallallahu said, that I like the account given to me by Tabib Dari. Why? Because it agrees with that which I have told you regarding the Antichrist, regarding Makkah. Then the Messenger Sallallahu said, that he's in the Yemen Sea. Oh, he is in the Syrians. And then he said, no, no, no. He's in the east. He's in the east. He's in the east. The Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. When he said this, Wallahi, by Allah, my brothers, this, this should have been taken like that. Why? Because the Antichrist is coming, whether you like it or you don't like it. He said the Antichrist is coming, whether you like it or don't like it. And it would be a person or an entity or something that will deceive all nations and will probably come in the form of a world leader or some type of higher... You know, it's crazy because I don't think that in this day and age when the Antichrist comes back, if it is real, you know, because I'm not really religious, but hey, I like being educated about this. So I like this stuff. 
and I'm not Muslim either just to tell you guys I want to tell you guys that that way you know what I'm saying I don't come off as fake or just you know doing this for views I want you guys to know that I don't do these type of videos all the time and when I do do them it's just because I'm simply interested there's a lot of race and religion debate and I like to learn about other cultures and religions all the time and sometimes I like these videos sometimes I don't I just kind of like to go by what I research on and see what I can learn next and I like to start a conversation with you guys in the comments down below but when the Antichrist does return if if it's true it is said that it will pick, it will come in a form where the whole world would be gravitated towards it. okay so it probably won't be a world leader is because like people don't really respect world leaders right now you know what I'm saying um, they control everything but at the end of the day no one respects them if they came in a form of an Elon Musk or if they came in a form of a Bill Gates or some technological uh, icon or something maybe I mean I would think it would be a Steve Jobs before it'd be a Donald Trump or maybe before a Putin it would be like a rapper or someone that's big you know what I'm saying like it would come in a form that everyone is like oh I like that I like this person you know I feel like and that would be the perfect way to deceive somebody because it'd be hard to think that something you like would be against you you know anyways I will see you guys in the next video and um, you guys tell me what you think about down below please no hate I, I still don't care <laughs> I love hate comments. I'll probably make a video reading them. But uh, no, seriously, um, I'm open to criticism. You guys tell me if I talk too much. You guys tell me what's up. And uh, thanks so much for watching and peace.